Senator Ted Cruz is, uh, had a great idea. He wants to build a wall, especially in the, his state of Texas. Going to need Arizona, New Mexico, and San Diego. But if the funds aren't going to be there, he's got a plan B. That's there right. he is right there on your screen. We're interviewing him this morning because your plan, Senator, is called the El Chapo Act. What is this? Well, you know, as you know, the Democrats are threatening a government shutdown because they are so opposed to building a wall. They're so opposed to finally securing our border. And, and so I've been trying to think about how can we get this done? How can we build the wall even in the face of democratic obstruction? And so yesterday I filed the El Chapo Act that provides that if El Chapo is convicted, you know, the famed Mexican drug lord, the estimates are that his criminal fortune is roughly worth about $14 billion. Wow. Now, coincidentally, the estimates for the cost to build a wall range from 14 to $20 billion. And so my legislation provides that if those assets are forfeited, those assets from El Chapo will go directly to building a wall and to securing the border. And that way, if you did that, then Mexico would indirectly wind up building the wall. That's pure genius on your part. <laughs> well, well, true enough. And, and, you know, look, El Chapo led the Sinaloa drug cartel. And, and, you know, these drug cartels are the ones that are crossing the border. They're smuggling narcotics. They're engaged in human trafficking. They're engaged in murder and extortion and, and are violent criminals. And, and, and there is a sense of justice, a, 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 a sense of this is what's right mm -hmm. to say the people who are violating the border like crazy, we should use their ill-gotten gains to finally build the wall and to finally ensure we have the the assets to secure our borders. How can you secure his assets? I mean, does he have this like in a bank account, $14 billion? Or well, the they, are, they are scattered worldwide, but the government right now has extradited El Chapo from Mexico, is, is, is proceeding with a criminal prosecution. The first step is to convict him. Once convicted, the government is seeking the forfeiture of $14 billion, and the government will go and prove where the assets are and, and go forward with forfeiture following a conviction. And, and ordinarily, that money goes to the Treasury for certain specified uses. Border security is not among those uses. So my legislation is very simple. It says El Chapo's assets, right. and for that matter, any other drug cartel mm -hmm. whose assets are forfeited, their money would go to building the wall and keeping the border secure and keeping the country safe.